Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, you're about to see three months worth of rankings and level ups. I took about two days to edit this video. It's like three, wait, about two, two and a half hours shrunk down to this 20 minutes. So, crossbones, as you can see, I took them up. Now, uh, you'll notice the format. I'm trying to you know, uh, not have you guys sit here forever. So I just show you the last ranking. All right, so like for example, Black Panther here, I only showed you that I took him to rank five. So you see, I'm still taking four stars to uh, rank five. Um, if they were, you know, rank one, and I took them all the way to like say rank three or four, I'm only showing you that last ranking. Now, with the four stars, all of my four stars are either rank four or rank five, unless I just got them from the arena. Then they might still be rank one, waiting for me to rank them up during a level up uh, so I can maximize my rewards. And you can see I also took up a two star. Uh, just recently, the Marvel Insider uh, the rewards had a bunch of exclusive two stars that I did not have. I think I got like three uh, out of that. All right. And you can see here, I also show you the ending. Now, what I don't show you in this video are any of the rank ups that I did uh, and included in their own video. So mystery rank up theater videos. I'm not including any of that in here. So all you're seeing are the miscellaneous rank up. So five stars to rank um, two, three, four, uh, four stars to rank four or five, stuff like that. The two stars, everything. Okay. Now, right now we have two days left, two days left uh for July 4 uh offers and I wanted to get this video out before that because of course I'm going to be doing some rank ups level ups uh over this weekend and they're going to be pretty big uh I already have the materials to take up a uh, champion to rank 4 my first rank 4 that's going to happen over this weekend so it's going to be very, very exciting. Um, most of you already know who I'm going to take up, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but you might be surprised because over uh, the weekend, once I get all those rewards and open up uh, crystals, I might get somebody that I want to take up. I don't know what the, um, the rewards are going to be, the offers are going to be. For July 4, I saw some leaked information that you have to take with a grain of salt. But let's just say that if I have the opportunity to purchase a rank 3 to 4 gem, I'll be grabbing it and I might be taking up two champions to rank 4. So a minimum of one rank 4 and uh, possibly two rank 4s. And honestly, if I see enough materials and I get close to being able to get Paragon, I might put it into overdrive and finish act seven, claim that reward and be able to uh, possibly double dip, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Uh, now, something else I, I generally take out, like you see here, I'm adding a bunch of signature stones and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna include that for every single time I did that. So sometimes you'll see that I have um, a certain score and I ranked up, leveled up a bunch of champions. And then in the end, I have way more points. That's because I had to cut some of this out or else you guys would be sitting here for over two hours. I was actually tempted. I didn't know uh, what I was going to do, but to make things easier for me, I could have just you know giving you a nice little intro and just let it play two hours of uh rank up level ups 
you would have got to see everything. But I wasn't going to narrate over two hours uh, on that video. But you would have seen every single rank up, every single um, signature stone, every time I had to uh, spin crystals in order to get more materials to rank them up. Like sometimes I was out of T2 or T3 and I had to go there, open those up. All of that I took out here. So you didn't see any of that stuff. All right. Now you'll notice I try to wait and double dip. So like when you see a level up and an advancement, I try to wait for that and then rank up uh, that class so that I can get points for both the level up and the advancement. The advancement doesn't at my level, it doesn't really give me that much, but it's something fun that I like to do. That's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of folks that are at my level don't even bother with the advancement. It needs to be updated. It's not really um, worth chasing hard, but I think it's fun. So I always wait to double dip. Uh, if you are at a lower level, you want to do that because it's more efficient uh, and it still gives you some uh, good stuff. You can see Black Cat. Uh, so far this, I think this year, I think I've gone for every five star. I can't remember. No, I might have, uh, I don't remember when Sauron and um, Toad, but those were the only two that I did not go for as five stars. But then I pulled Toad out of a crystal, uh, which was awesome. So I, I don't have Sauron as a five star, but Every other five star, like Black Cat that you saw there, I've gone for. And usually in the very next level up when I can, I'll take my five star to rank three. All of my five stars are at least rank three. Uh, sometimes I will wait because my main reason to take a champion to rank three is so that when I go through all of my five stars, I don't get a, a death match. However, uh, and there's Scorpion. Yep, Scorpion I went for as well. Um, but however, I don't really need to go through all of my five stars these days. So having some at rank, you know, one or two is not going to really hurt me. You know, I might use them to get to, you know, the five, uh, or is it 5x uh, multiplier? Or is it 3x multiplier? I can't remember. It's too early in the morning. My brain is not working. Um, but I might work my way up to that and then don't use them again. But I have enough now that I don't really need to, you know, uh, do anything. Uh, right there, I was showing you that I was waiting for that final event. And I showed you the final event was a combat one. So that's why I'm just ranking up champions. I was... Oh, man, I loved pulling that Dr. Voodoo. I still love Dr. Voodoo. Just love him. Uh, he's not awakened right now. Um, uh, you can also see here, I did not go for a big score. When I'm going for a big score and I want to get that 1% to 10%, I'm usually putting up, you know, 130, 140, 150K uh, or more. But... Sometimes I just don't have enough and I'm just like, you know what, it's not really, you know, that worth it to, uh, you know, do that. I might want to just spread things out. So I'll take up just enough to get those units. That is what I want the most out of the level up are the units. But every so often I will go hard and uh, get the you know, the other rewards for the one to 10%. Rintra is a relatively new champion. And I don't know too much about him, but I know he has a large health pool and he's capable of some big boy damage. Uh, so I wanted to take him up. Uh, of course, uh, OG Storm got a rework and she is awesome now. Shock immune and puts out that big boy damage or big lady damage. Um, like she used to anyway, but she puts out even more damage now. All right. So some of these here, um, I didn't cut out 
and I might have missed some cropping. So that's why you see some of that in here. Cause like I said, it took a couple of days cause it was just boring. Um, but I had to go through and just cut, 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 cut all over the place and uh, try to remove all of the, you know, uh, my decision-making, like I'm looking over my champs. I'm like, okay, hey, which one do I wanna take up? Which one, you know? Uh, you guys don't need to see all that. It just is a waste of time. You just need to see who I actually uh, took up. So um, look at that, Mystic Advancement. You see it's a 131. Anytime I've gone over 130, I've gotten the one to 10%, just so you know. Uh, the level up, on the other hand, is the same. I need to put up more than that. But depending on when we're doing the level up, like um, that compensation, one of my uh, alliance mates put up like 130, 140, something like that. And he didn't get it. He didn't get the one to 10%. Uh, I put up 199,000 and I got the one to 10%. OK, now here, look at this. See that Captain America? I didn't include it in my uh, rank ups because I was doing this and I was just opening champion uh, crystals to get more ISO. And then that happened. I was stunned. That's why you don't see me actually opening the Nexus. I had to stop it there and said, OK, I need to start recording. And so I started recording. But that is how I got a Captain America World War II. Do you know how long I wanted a Captain America World War II? Oh my goodness. It back when um I think Kang was in AQ or or uh was the boss in AQ? I think it was Kang. Or was it Dormammu? Might have been Dormammu. And I wanted a World War II um Captain America, because I thought he'd be great going up against Dormammu and uh, never got him, just never got him. And now, boom, there he was. I was stunned. I already have most of the five stars. So getting a new five star, crazy. All right. Um, there's Rentra again. Like I said, large health pool. Um he is capable of big boy damage, but I don't really know too much more about that. Um, but I do want to look into him. Uh, I know I... He has that root mechanic, but he has it in a certain way. You know, he has a special root. And I just don't really care for root. But I don't, I don't like having my movement restricted. It's just it's just a, a issue with me. You know, I'm definitely not into that type of thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, don't don't restrict me from free movement. Can't cannot take that. Don't like it. Um, but anyway, and you see, I'm, I'm taking him up. Uh, there's a little Scarlet Witch. Uh, for the first time, we were able to get a three star Scarlet Witch um, sigil. Um, I believe that was in the arena. They had a special arena for her. I already had her as a six star and a five star and a four star, but I didn't have the three star. Got her in the arena. Boom. All right. Now, see, look at my level up here. Level up. I went hard, got the one to 10%. All right. Um, and then you see there, there was a combat at the end. So I'm taking Rintra on up to uh, rank three. So if you go back through the video and you, you know, maybe slow it down, you can see how I did things. Okay. So like you saw right there, I didn't even get all the milestones for that level up because you can see how it switched over to the next level up. I just got enough. I, I took Rintra up and I got enough to get the units. Like I said, that's what I wanted the most out of that um, event. And then I just said, never mind, let it go, you know? And uh, here you see I'm taking up, you know, some other miscellaneous champions. Um, I have Wong now. Uh, and I didn't really, I haven't really done too much with Wong. So I don't know uh, if he's any good. I haven't heard anything great about him. Now, look at this. I've been taking up Rintra and all this. Now we have a level up. 
animistic advancement. And every time I see that, I'm just like, come on, man. I just ranked up a bunch of mystic champions. Now you do this. But it's not a really big deal. As you can see here, I had not finished taking up Wong as a three star. So boom, maxed out the three star. Here's the four star. Boom, took the four star to rank four. All right. And then the five star took them up to rank three. Now, again, you can't really tell whether I took them all the way from rank one all the way to rank three since I'm just showing you the final one. So in some cases, um, I, I did that. I took them all the way up. And you can see my Mystic Advancement. Killing it. Killing it. Now, like I said, you also won't see some other things like for Mystic Advancement, I may not have op uh, ranked up other Mystics. I may have used uh, sig stones i may have opened up you know different crystals three star crystals um four star crystals all of that to pad my score okay um so just bear that in mind all right so you see here we're rocking with the uh you know little two stars and everything but wait till you see what happens at the end but we have a two star wiccan i believe we got that from the um uh, the uh, rewards for the insider. I took Icarus up. Okay, you see there's no um, cosmic advancement here. Okay, so I took them all up. And then next uh, level up, you can see we have 23 minutes left on that level up because I waited. We have mutant advancement. You saw that I had some points in mutant advancement, but no points in level up. That's how you can tell. I either opened up a bunch of uh, crystals here uh, and I believe I did open up a bunch of crystals and use a lot of sig stones and you can see my final score uh, there now here we go another level up I took up my crossbones because I like crossbones now this is my five star I didn't want to use up too many um, t5 basics but now I have a bunch in my overflow but that's because I'm waiting for July 4 so I just took him up uh, got what I needed there. And then now we've got tech advancement mixed in. I have Omega Sentinel. I took the four star, maxed the four star out. Got Yondu, maxed Yondu out. These are four stars. Okay. And then the five star Omega Sentinel, I took to rank four. I don't remember where she started. And that's where I got all those points. Then you see the level up. We got science advancement. Now, that may have been the same level up. So I'm just like, okay, science, science, science. I don't remember if I had a lot of science to uh, take up at that time. So, yeah, look at the level up. 153 and didn't touch it. Now, the next one, we had another science. Now, between that time, I pulled that MODOK. And I was like, yes, MODOK, science, perfect timing, right? Joe fix it. I decided to take him up as a five star. I do have the six star. I took, um, you know, Miles Morales up to rank four. Again, saving my um, T5 basics. And look, science advancement, 133, level up, boom. Now here's the final level up. And I said on stream, I was waiting, and the best, best thing to happen would be a cosmic advancement. And that happened. So I took up that four star. I don't know if you saw it very quickly, but he was at rank one. Took him all the way to rank four. Okay. And then I took up the five star, um, I believe, all the way up to like rank three. And then I took up this Miss Marvel in the end to rank three. And that was my final score there. All right. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this crazy amount of rank up and level ups. And uh, after the 4th of July, you're also going to get a, a video on my roster. So you'll get an account tour. But I want to open up those crystals and get my account 
in a you know decent shape after July 4 so that you could then see what I ended up with. Okay, so take care and you all have a blessed day.